So it's October the 10th, 2023, and I finally have an opportunity to grab my GoPro and step outside and get a couple of videos for you guys. I've been slacking really, but that's because we've had such a mad rush of pre-owned inventory coming in that I really haven't had a chance to stay on top of things. But today we're gonna to be looking at this brand new 2024 Palomita Puma model number 31 RLQS. If you're new here, the RL does stand for rear living and the QS is gonna be standing for queen slide. But the model you're gonna be looking at today is right at 36 feet in length and has a dry weight close to 9,000 pounds. That's completely unloaded. So it is gonna to be too much for a half ton on the market today. I'd recommend towing it with at least a three quarter ton. But let's get you inside model number 31 RLQS. But I figured we start all the way back here in the back and then make our way towards the front. And finally ending the video on the outside going over a few of the connections there. So 36 feet of total length for the camper. I'm gonna provide you with maybe an estimated 12 feet of walking space from the front door all the way back to the sofa. Three total signs on board and two of them are found between the living and the kitchen. That's gonna be your kitchen tucked nicely off in the corner over here. The fridge is 11 cubic feet, but the door now has a much improved locking mechanism aboard. The fridge is on the top and the freezer is gonna be located on the bottom. Pretty much your standard size graystone oven, maybe enough room for a pie with three smaller burners on the top and your normal size microwave that's found on board the Puma. So you have the kitchen island in the middle. That's always nice for some additional counter space. Single basin undermount sink with a residential sprayer. Let's look at your entertainment center now. So this is gonna be your view from the two theater seats, but your entertainment center is located right here in front of us. You may have room to mount upwards of about a 40 inch TV. You have the IRV technology sound bar, and that is the electric fireplace. Those produce about 5,000 BTUs of heat. However, the main heat source on board will be coming from the 35,000 BTU furnace. You'll notice those randomly placed floor vents about the floor. But while we are down here though, Puma has finally removed all the carpet on board inside the slide. Some customers talk about how the woven material that's in the slide is a good thing. Some talk about it not being so great. They state that the particles of sand are easily trapped in the woven material. It is though a lot nicer when you get these on trade after maybe about a year of use and there's no signs of wear or tear now on the material compared to the carpet. That's like the one place on board the camper that always shows signs of wear and tear. So this is gonna be your view from the kitchen, but let's look at some of the furniture before we move our way all the way to the front. But back here in the back, this is a sleeper sofa. This does open up to about the size of a full size bed. So maybe some additional sleeping for one or two adults, really depending on the size of your guests. I'll try to maybe overlay another video here showing you exactly what that looks like in its full open sleeping position. So right over here, this is your living slash dining room slide. And speaking of this slide, that's the part going out. You're looking at a slide box height of only five foot seven, so be cautious if you're maybe attempting to stand up. All the window treatments inside the Puma are trimmed out with black roller shades. And you have two additional theater seats here with some additional storage plus the cup holders in the center. So let's touch on some of the storage inside of the living room. You have storage on the back, storage over the two theater seats. But I failed to point out your kitchen pantry storage. Located right over here next to that always oh, actually fireplace. Three additional shelves and each one of those are about an 18 by 18 inch in diameter. Just to give you an idea on reference to size. So let's make our way all the way to the front, go over the bathroom first, and then touch on the bedroom. So keep this in mind, your ceiling height inside of the Puma is six foot eight, but you lose about maybe six, maybe seven inches just to step up into the shower. You have the additional skylight up above to assist. Three piece glass sliding door. That's your linen closet, very, very big. And this will be your view from inside the shower your bathroom vanity, your medicine cabinet. That's your plastic foot flush toilet. Let's take a look at your bedroom now. 
all the way in the front. So 31 RL for rear living QS for queen slide. Lots of changing room. There's probably at least 18 inches here, but definitely 42 inches of space here. That's gonna be called a super slide. Washer and dryers already installed from the factory. That makes it very, very nice. Some customers like it, some dislike it. We will take that out for some that don't want to have that inside. They just wanna have the added closet space. And as always, there is storage underneath all the beds. These always lift up. So you do have a little reading shelf on the left and to the right with 12 volt outlets located on this side. So if maybe you happen to have a CPAP machine, it looks like this is gonna be your side of the bed. That's the only 110 outlet located on this side of the wall right over here. And in the front, you have this fifth wheel style closet, which is very, very deep. Coming around to the foot of your bed, Three different pull outs and if you like the amount of tv i'd recommend having a professional do it there's a tv backer sticker on the wall but we get these things on trade a lot where customers have drilled all the way through the entire coach so now let's look at our sales price don't forget there is a link found in the video description that would take you to my website where you can view more additional photos as well as my contact information reach out to me with any questions you may have but a date and time of making this video msrp maybe you can pause the video here here, MSRP of $61,672.85. And of course our sales price can be found at that link found in the video description. If you don't wanna see anything on the outside, continue to like and subscribe. But coming at you 36 feet, one inch of total length is this 2024 Palomino Puma model number 31 RLQS. It is, again, on the heavier side, so I'd recommend pulling it with something larger than a half ton. You've got to get all with that your tongue jack, your larger 20-pound propane bottles in the front, and this will be your storage compartment area for the battery. We typically put a plastic battery housing on there once the camper has sold. The coach is going to be stabilized from two sets of electric scissor jacks. You've got one set in the front plus one set in the back, but both other controls are located on the camp side of the RV. But just by simply pressing a one button, the legs will go down to fill about eight to 10 pounds of pressure before they completely turn themselves off, which that's perfectly fine. That's what they're designed to do. And there's a good shot of your completely enclosed underbelly. Step above entry steps, those fold inside the door when you're in transportation, of course. The old school steps would fold up and underneath. And you have a friction hinge on your entry door with a nice big grab handle. Your awning is probably right at 12 feet in length with outdoor speakers underneath it. You've got two air conditioners on board. This one's a 15K, and the one up in the front bedroom is a 13.5. Rear mounted ladder with blindside camera prep. That's the camera mount way up there on the top. Here's a good shot of your non camp side of the RV. So sewer connections on board the RV, you've only got one makes it pretty simple to do only one hose need it whenever you're finished with it a good place to store that's gonna be back there on the back bumper but you got gray handles gray handle and a black and there's another shot of your rack and pinion slide 15 amp power connection outdoor shower and this is your black tank flush once you're finished camping and you're ready to clean out those black tanks but overall pretty compact cool little RV is one of our best sellers for a rear living layout just because of the overall price point Hope you guys liked it as much as I did. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.